What's going on guys? Welcome back to another one of Huggy's Beer Reviews. Now today's beer review is actually a double review, two videos, three beers. Um, and these reviews are long overdue because these beers were sent to me months ago by my man Mike Polkey. What's up Mike? Sorry for taking so long. Uh, but he sent them to me months ago and I just haven't had a chance to get around to doing the reviews. You know, my life's been crazy uh, for the most of this last year. So we're finally getting around to it and we're going to start with this guy, the Lacrosse Lager from the City Brewing Company, City Brewery in Lacrosse, Wisconsin. Now, Mike hit me up some time ago and said, "Hey man, I want to send you some shitty beer." Uh, but the main reason he wanted to send me this beer and you know check out my take on this beer is because the rumor is, and I couldn't find any concrete evidence online. I googled it, I tried, I looked, but nothing concrete came up. But the rumor is, the Lacrosse Lager is being brewed with the old old style recipe. That's right. Old style. I've reviewed old style before. I've had old style before. Old style, you know, Chicago's beer. Uh, it's a regional favorite. It's only available in that area of, you know, Illinois, that region. It's not available anywhere else in the country, but it's been known. It's been around for forever and a day. Old style. Problem is that old style is not, a lot of people might tell you, Old Style is not being brewed with the same recipe. It's, it doesn't taste like it did before. They've changed the recipe. And word is that Lacrosse is now brewing their beer with the old Old Style recipe. So this is the new Old Style and this is the old Old Style, supposedly. So Mike was kind enough to send me a four pack of Lacrosse Lager so I could check it out and a couple Old Styles to be able to do a side by side comparison and that's what we're going to do. He did send me another craft beer from a regional, uh, regional brewery, which is going to be the next video, so stay tuned for that. Um, for those, uh, I, I, I want to get the name right because it's one of those, it's the uh, Kiwina or Kiwina Brewing Company. He sent me their Red Jacket Amber Ale, it's still in the fridge, we'll do that in the next video. Um, so back to lacrosse, and we're going to crack open the lacrosse first, we're going to check it out, and then we'll pop open the old style and kind of do a comparison. But uh, checking out the lacrosse. On Beer Advocate, Lacrosse Lager only has 63 ratings, scores of 71, categorized as an American adjunct lager at 4.8% alcohol by, uh, by volume. Okay, uh, rate beer, same thing. This is regional, this does not have widespread distribution, so you're not going to get a lot of reviews online. Um, right now on rate beer, it's got 101 total ratings, scores of 15 overall, categorized as a pale lager, doesn't say the ABV. So not a lot of information online about the lacrosse lager. So there's not much else to say really except thank you Mike and I do apologize for taking so long but here's the reviews, here's the videos and off we go. Lacrosse lager. Crack that open and uh, got my Hurricane Wings class. This is the thick heavy duty one. Shouts out to my buddy Howard up at the Hurricane Wings in Vero Beach, Florida. Let's pour in some lacrosse lager. Oh, that's a nice pour, wouldn't you say? One more time. Check it out. That's the can. It says brewed, double brewed with pure artisan water. Clean, smooth finish. Lacrosse lager. Fully Krausened. See, supposedly the original old style was Krausen, then they stopped Krausening it, then they started Krausening it, Krausening it, Krausening it again. And I think they stopped now because the new can says nothing about the Krausening. So I don't know. And that's like a brewing procedure, I think, where they leave it like... I forgot what the procedure is. I think they leave like the uh, they leave the the barrel open to the elements, and it kind of affects it somehow. I forget. I honestly forgive me for not doing my research, but it's something like that. If you want to know more, Google is your friend. Anyway, we'll put this guy right there in the background. There you go. And uh, let's see. Now you know this is going to be a typical, you know, clean, clear pale adjunct lager, you know, fizzy, fizzy yellow beer. I can see right through it. It's super filtered. I can see myself in the camera through it. Um, and putting it up to the light, it's really, really pale. It's probably a, a, like a hair or two darker than like a Bud Light, you know what I mean? But it's still a very pale beer. The head is pop fizzy, but a little bit of it is sticking around. It smells like your standard 
adjunct lager, corn notes, corn cooked veggie kind of thing. Hint of like a, maybe like a lemony, lemon grassy kind of hot bitterness, but I mean it's 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 a hint. And not much else going on. For what it is, it, it smells good. It looks halfway decent. So to everybody in Wisconsin and in that cold ass northeastern area of all my buddies up there with the cheese and the you know the Milwaukee and the Wisconsin and the Green Bay Packers and and, and the Scandinavian descent. Cheers, people. God love you. Let's see what lacrosse uh, lacrosse's lottery is all about. You know, it's thin, it's watery, there's not a lot going on, but it actually has a nice little bit of malt sweetness across the front. It's mild, it's tame, it's little because it is a yellow fizzy beer, it's pale, it's, again, standard American light adjunct kind of lager, but it has flavor for what it is. Sure, you get corn, and it's almost a corny sweetness, I'll be honest with you, but it's a corny malt kind of sweetness, which is good. It's a good amount of fizz, it's not flat, it's not nasty in any way. And you do get a little bit, mild hint of like a lemongrassy bitterness towards the finish. Mild, not a lot of hops, you know, obviously it's not going to be a bitter finish. It's not going to clean up, you know, like a, like a beer with a good amount of hops, you know what I mean? You get that lingering kind of corn sweetness in the back, but for what it is, it's not bad. If I had to pick between, say, Keystone or Bush, and then something like this, I'll go with this. I might still go with something like PBR over this. PBR does have less of a corn flavor to it, but all in all, it could be a whole hell of a lot worse for what it is for a regional cheap ass, you know, local beer, lacrosse lager. I say it's not bad. I won't rate it because it, it's still a, an adjunct lager, but not bad at all. Now, time for comparison. Old style. And uh, in this case, we bring out my, break out my other Hurricane Wings class with the uh, Budweiser logo on it. Yeah. Pilfered from the Hurricane Wings in Vero Beach before I... Uh, no, it wasn't pilfered. They sold it to me. I bought it. Whatever. I'm sure you guys care. Old style. Since 1902, they say. I wonder how many times they've changed the recipe since 1902. Now, is it just me, or does this look so much lighter, like paler, like, 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 like clearer going into the glass? I would say. All right. The head seems to be a whole lot more pop fizzy. Put that right there. And uh, you guys tell me. Mm, the color is about the same. I'd say lacrosse. Lacrosse might just be like a blonde teenage cunt hair darker, you know what I mean? Gonna get more active carbonation on this one because this glass has little edge circles down there, but for the most part it look they look about the same. Mmm. This one has more of that cooked veggie smell. A little more unpleasant. By the way, this, this guy's leaving some lacing on this glass. I just noticed. It's always good. So I mean I'm not gonna talk too much about this. I've reviewed old style before. If you're curious, I'll put the link to the old style video. Uh, under this one, so just look down there if you want to see my take on Old Style. I was lucky enough to get sent a, a, a four pack of uh, Tall Boys um, a year or so ago. So, uh, anyways, let's just try this. Sharper. Not as sweet. So if, if if the lacrosse has that corn sweetness slash malt sweetness to it, this definitely does not. It's a sharper. It's it's it tastes more like carbonated water. Yeah, this definitely tastes more like carbonated water. Back to the lacrosse. A little more depth and character to the body. It tastes more like a lager. It tastes more like a Euro pale lager 
This tastes more like fizzy corn water with very little corn. So, um, if lacrosse lager, these are my final thoughts here. Let me just sum this up. If lacrosse lager is using the old, old style recipe, then the current old style is not. These beers do not taste the same whatsoever. Yes, they are similar. Basically the same style and probably someone who doesn't know much about beer will think they taste the same, but I'm telling you, it ain't the same beer. So for those who remember the original old style and think that this current incarnation is not the same recipe, then try lacrosse. You might find it to be the beer you remember because they're not the same. If I had to pick between the two, I'd go with lacrosse. Uh, now, if I had just like cut the grass or if I had been working out or playing ball or something and I was just, you know, parched and I just needed 12 ounces of cold fizzy liquid to chug, I could go either way. If I'm going to sit down watching the game or maybe washing down some wings, lacrosse all the way. Definitely the better beer. For an American adjunct lager, I'd say it's a pretty strong glass half full for a small regional American adjunct lager. And to be fair, the old style is still better than Bush. It, it, it's, 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 it's fizzy corn water. It's, you know, carbonated, carbonated water with barely any corn in it. But it's still less offensive than some beers like Bush and Keystone, etc. So those are my thoughts. Mike, thanks again for the beers. It was really cool being able to do this comparison, and they are definitely different recipes. Uh, so... You guys know what's up. Stay tuned. There's more coming, specifically the Red Jacket Amber Ale. Be on the lookout for that. And as always, guys, cheers. See you on the next one.